Bears are often seen as dangerously unpredictable, having bursts of aggression, and being terrifyingly strong. But for one bear in particular, being lovingly raised by people in the midst of war built a level of trust that created a legend. This is the story of Wojtek. World War II was plagued with absolute chaos, especially for the Polish people. Having been invaded by the Nazis and Soviets only 16 days apart, countless people were displaced. Many Polish soldiers were brought into the Soviet Union for slave labor and imprisonment as prisoners of war. But after the Nazi betrayal of the Soviets in 1941, the Soviet Union gave amnesty to many of their Polish captives. With the Polish-Russian military agreement, the Soviets allowed Poles to make a Polish army on Soviet soil. As this newly founded Polish militia was traveling south into Iran, some soldiers and civilian refugees came across a young Iranian boy with a bear cub in a sack. After telling the group that its mother had been killed by hunters, one of the lieutenants felt compelled to purchase the cub, as the group was able to relate, for many of them had been orphaned themselves. The bear cub ended up under the care of a girl, who gifted it to one of the Polish generals. He then moved him out to Iraq, where he would be raised by soldiers and financially supported by the British. For a while, he was being fed condensed milk out of an old vodka bottle. But as he grew older, the British commanders permitted feeding him the rations of a soldier soldier, eventually getting so big they permitted him to have two soldier rations. During this time, he grew very attached to the Polish soldiers, where they gave him the name Wojtek, being Polish for he who is happy in battle. Wojtek proved to be extremely tame, being impressively comprehensive over command, often wrestling with the men but never hurting them, taking rides in their vehicles, and even going out and drinking with them. He was given his own money as well as cigarettes and chocolate, like any other soldier. The soldier the soldiers even taught him how to smoke an actual cigarette. Once the soldiers were prepared to be in battle, Wojtek was placed under the care of the 22nd Artillery Supply Company of the Polish 2nd Corps, which contained many of his original caretakers. He became the official mascot of the regiment, even having a special emblem created, as the company moved toward Egypt so they could be sent to Italy to support an invasion effort under the Americans and British. They officially drafted him into the Polish army, giving him the rank of private. Wojtek would eventually find himself in the Battle of Monte Cassino. He became helpful within the company due to his immense strength. Though the soldiers say it's often exaggerated that he carried artillery shells themselves, he did lift heavy boxes that contained artillery shells and stacked them, making it easy for the soldiers so they didn't have to bend down. The Polish army was so pivotal in the battle that the Polish flag was raised first, so maybe he did make a difference. After this battle was won, he and his company were shipped to Scotland, where he lived with his fellow soldiers in a barracks. By the end of the war, he was promoted to the status of corporal, and would eventually stay in Scotland, due to a large portion of his company not wanting to go back to Poland, due to the fact that it had become a communist state. In 1946, members of Wojtek Company asked the Edinburgh Zoo if they could accommodate him until the regiment could bring him to a free Poland, as they described it. Wojtek would go on to remain at the Edinburgh Zoo for the rest of his life, passing away in 1963, at the age of 21. From time to time, his company would come by to pay visit and toss him cigarettes, and it is also said that he would get excited when he heard Polish being spoken. With that, Wojtek has gone down in history as a very unique example of the special relationship between human and animal, being a symbol of hope, an individual that the Polish themselves could relate to, and a family member to those who his life impacted the most. Wojtek, the bear that went to war.